everybody's favorite time of the month. It is time for Universal Yums. We have our Super Yum box this month. This is what, we're August 2018? Yes. And our Yums this month, and I'm, as always, very excited, but even more so this time around, our Yums this month are from the UK. Which, I don't even know if that showed on the camera. The UK. Yeah, that's showing. Which, and we've been there. We have yeah. been there. This is, mom's been there. Mom is a... Anglophile. Anglophile. I was, yeah, I didn't, I was thinking Anglophile meant you were afraid of English people, which is, I mean, <laughs> that's Anglophobe. Uh, that sounds like a really <laughs> worthless, like, waste of time. Well, there's that one David Bowie song where it's, I'm afraid of I'm Americans. Afraid of America. And then he does the same song with um, the guy from Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor. John is not here with us, so somebody else is going to have to hold the trial. But, you ready, Ma? You ready for this? Yes. Okay. And okay. we've got, ooh, welcome to the UK. So I'm assuming we're going to be getting not just English snacks, but also Scottish, Welsh, and possibly Northern Irish? How about you put the box between you and Mom? Here's our little... <laughs> okay, so here's the display for the moment. Now that does have spoilers as to what everything does is have on the side. Yes, but right? I'm not looking at that. So we've right. first off, we've got, right up at the top, we've got jalapeno and sour cream... O's. Crunchies O's? Flavored potato snacks. Ah. Um, cool. I'm just gonna put everything to the side. Oh, good God. <laughs> Here's Mackey's of Scotland Scotch Bonnet Chili Pepper Potato Chips. Oh no, they hate us! Did they give us all hot stuff? No, we've also got mature cheddar and onion oh, potato we gotta chips. Try those. That's... I'm gonna put these in the, oh, I'm sorry, potato crisps. And then, haggis and cracked black pepper potato chips. Oh wow. my god. We've also got a lot of ooh, sea salt and cider vinegar ridge chips. Not a lot of things. I'm going to eat Oh, okay. You want me to see these next, Mom? Oh, gonna, yeah. Based on that reaction, we are putting these in the trial. We have <gasps> Jammy <laughs> Dodgers. Uh, Jammy Dodgers are, this is a raspberry filled biscuit cookie. So these are going in the trial. Oh, we gotta try those. Oh. Oh, shh! We got wagon wheels! Oh, we're gonna get everything the Barry's made. <laughs> <laughs> Plug Mom, for Barry. Mom and Karen are a big fan of... Um, Barry Lewis from Barry, My Virgin Kitchen. Yeah, My Virgin Kitchen. Stop it, mother. Stop, stop, stop. So there's there's more wagon wheels. I gotta put these over oh, to the good. side. Oh, good. There's one for each. We have... Johnny's pickled onion rings. I think those They're, are like Funyuns. Yeah, I think these are like Funyuns. I'm gonna like these later. Only like 20 you, pence! You wow! Put, you put pickled onions in like martinis or something. Potato, uh, the baked potatoes. They put it on baked potatoes. Too. Jacket potatoes. Yeah, sorry, jacket potatoes. We've got prawn cocktail flavored twirls. That was a shrimp That flavor. was candy from the back no. and I'm so upset. Prawn cocktail. Well, we're trying these. Prawns are shrimp. Uh, the yeah. other one that mom had a moment with. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. What is it? We have Brazil nut toffee. Ooh. Whack, then unwrap and enjoy X. I love to do that. We'll see about that one. We've got. Ooh, rhubarb and custard bonbons. I know those from Neopets. <laughs> I'm very excited to try these later. What are those, Ma? We've got. Toffee pops. Ooh. Coffee filled biscuits. Those look good. Those look good. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That looks wonderful. Dreamy, creamy toffee. It's very hard. This is a whack then unwrap and enjoy. We've also got, what are these? These are raspberry flavored coconut bars. Oh, they're not oh. marshmallows. We got three of those to these. Ooh, we've got light and crumbly chocolate chip shortbread. And then, okay, what's our yum bag is heavy, very dense. Okay, so we've got a bunch of stuff in here this month. It's actually got two pages, so I need to go into the box. We've got salted caramel fudge, which I'm here for. We've got treacle toffee. Treacle we've is... got uh, Cur Royale chews, which is black currant and champagne flavored candies. Oh, that's gonna be disgusting. We've got chocolate lime candies. 
Oh, Chocolate just... with limes? No wonder the United States wanted independence from Britain. Ouch. Where did they get their limes from? And then the last one is Prosecco Fudge. Sparkling wine flavored fudge contains no alcohol. Hey, nice. Ooh. Well, do you want any of the, you want to try any of those, Mom? Uh. Let's try. Let's try. Uh, let's not try. Well, yeah. The, okay. Well, yeah. we've well, so before we've got we before we anything, try anything, we've got four things in the trial. We've got two sweets and two savories. So we're going to cut to. Don't you open anything? Don't open yet, anything yet, Mom. No, I, she's very Mom's Mom is super excited for this because Mom, much like myself, likes trying the cool snacks. We love snacks. <laughs> I yeah. love snacks. Snacks are good. Snacks are good. Snacks are good. So we'll be right back. We're going to put the stuff we're not trying away, and I'll see you in just a second. Okay, we're back. We have four items in our trial right now. I'm not looking forward to those prawn twirls. I am. <laughs> I really thought they were going to be candy. It was so cute. Look at the pink Starburst package. <laughs> so we've got two sweet and two savory. So we are going to start with the savory because mom wants to save the best for, or what she thinks is going to be the best for last. What she thinks is going to be the not prawn for last. Okay, so we'll, we'll start with the prawn twirls then. I, yeah, I might have trouble with this or it might be completely fine. It just smells awful. We've, it smells like- We've had a lot of uh, Asian fish snacks. So maybe I'll survive. That's surprisingly good. Wow. It is good. That's really good. Am I gonna like it? It no. doesn't taste like shrimp. It tastes like cocktail sauce. But not really. It tastes more like, it tastes a lot like ketchup chips with a little bit of a tang to it. They look like rotelli, rotini. Rotini, pasta. yeah. Those are good. And you guys were afraid. Oh, there's a little bit of sweet on them. Yeah. Hmm. I like yeah, these. Pretty good. They, they so, are let me see what the cocktail sauce flavored and not. Uh, Don't like shrimp? Not to worry. There's nothing fishy about this yum. These prawn cocktail swirls place a much heavier emphasis on the cocktail part of their name than the prawn. Each bite is bursting with the tomatoey zest of cocktail sauce accompanied by the slightest hint of salty shrimp flavor. We could have read this first. But... Prawn cocktail chips have been around for decades in the UK, first popularized after the creation of the prawn cocktail dish in the 1960s. Though it's always been a common flavor, prawn cocktail has never quite risen to the top of the charts. But perhaps that's about to change. Though cheese and onion is UK's number one crisp flavor overall, prawn cocktail has recently emerged as a favorite amongst millennials, proving to be an up and coming British snack trend. We'll certainly jump on board. Well, that's actually kind of fitting that the next one that we're going to be trying is the cheddar, is and, the onion. cheddar and onion. So this is this is a brand that I'm not familiar with. I thought we might be getting- um, Tato? No, not Tato. I thought we might be getting Walkers. We had three of that. Yeah, yeah I, four. There's there three, four and then there's one. Brand. These smell identical. So this is <laughs> mature cheddar and onion. Oh, okay. Is it a little much? It's thick, but it's very subtly flavored. Mm. Well, I don't think they need the extreme flavors. That I mean, it doesn't really taste food. like much. Like I don't even they get need much. That take two of them. I don't even get oh, much of a salt good. flavor. That's good. Okay, take a moment to soak in the bold aroma of these chips because you're experiencing the defining smell of the UK. The intense scent of cheese and onion permeates throughout the nation, lingering on bus stool, bus floors, bar stools, and cafeteria tables. I think that's a lie. That's because the cheese and onion is the most popular crisp flavor in the UK, as well as a snack of choice for chip-loving locals. Have you ever had um, all rotten or scalloped potatoes out of the box yeah. of the Idahoan ones? Mm. These taste like dry that. <clears throat> First introduced in 1962, the bold flavor has since beat out plain salt and vinegar and paprika, becoming the most distinctive part of British snacking. Bursting with aged cheddar smokiness and powerful onion zing, these famous chips are guaranteed to linger on your breath for some time, Bite or it, and even once. longer on your mind. Bite two, two of them, them once. The, uh... Okay, because these are kind of flavorless to me. You gotta get one that has a lot of the dust on it. They're all right. I mean. I wouldn't go to England to get them. A lot of these just, a lot of the stuff we're trying right now reminds me of Neopets. Because a lot of the original Neopets items were designed by uh, UK, UK natives. Students. So now, 
We are swapping over to the raspberry flavored coconut bars. Mm. Beet powder as coloring. Oh, that's a natural pink coloring. You probably use it to dye your hair. Ooh, these smell nice. Oh, yeah. They're a little hard, though. Oh, oh. No. Mm, well, they all spilled on the floor. Oh, wow. But luckily, there were only three of them left. These are really nice. Say top of the morning to one of Britain's most quintessential candies, coconut ice. This is this intriguing confection is made from a blend of grated coconut, fondant, flu fruit flavoring, and icing sugar. That's what the British call a confectioner's sugar. Or powdered that's, sugar. That's chilled to a soft, solid state, then cut into bite-sized cubes. Now that we've covered what coconut ice is, you're probably wondering where the, the ice in its name comes from. We wish we could give you an answer, but the truth is nobody knows for sure. It could be because they're shaped like ice cubes, or that they're best served chilled, or that they're made with icing sugar. We may never know. But given the candy's sweet flavor and melt-in-your-mouth texture, we're perfectly fine just enjoying it, no questions asked. Yeah, that, is, are... that is good. This is really nice. Everything has been very subtle. And it's like, the coconut is nice because it's not big shreds. Like, big shreds of coconut tend to get stuck in my teeth. I'm not having that issue with these. These are, they're, they're lightly, like, it's like small pieces of coconut, but it's definitely a, a coconut flavor. The raspberry flavor is, is coming through really nicely, and it's just got a nice texture. It doesn't have any of the tartness that I expect mm -hmm. from a raspberry. That is, that's got to be where the ice comes from, because, excuse me, because... Mmm. Those are really nice. I yeah, but you could eat like two like of them Turkish and then... Delight or like a like a more jelly candy, but they're not. Yeah, I, I thought they might be a little squishier, but they're they're densely packed. <laughs> and last, but the certainly not, not least, least, we have the Jimmy Dodgers! These British biscuits really don't need any explanation. A sweet, sticky layer of raspberry apple jam is sandwiched between two crunchy butter cookies. It's kind of self-explanatory. But we do want to explain what's so special about this particular brand of biscuits. Made in Wales, Jammy Dodgers are the UK's best-selling children's biscuit, though 40% of cookies sold are actually eaten by adults. Wow, the staple- they, they say that there's cookies for children and then cookies for adults? Like Zwiebeck and shit. A staple in nearly every home, this fun and fruity classic is a nostalgic treat the whole family can enjoy. And it's not just families that love Jammy Dodgers. The doctor from the world-famous British television series Doctor Who is a big fan. So what are you waiting for? Dig into the UK's scrumptious cookie obsession and get ready to join the fan club. All right. Mom. Open this up. Mom is not only... Mom is a Doctor Who fan. So is that where you first heard about Jammy Dodgers? I... I don't know. I've heard about him forever. Have you ever had them? No. <laughs> Are you excited to try them? I have had jelly babies though. Yes, yeah, so I, I just bought you jelly babies. Yes, At least, she did. Yeah, she's excited. She's been pointing at these cookies for like. I can't get them. You know what? They really better be good because my expectations. They're gonna be nice. Okay, here you go, Mom. It's got a JD on it for Juris Doctor. They're cute. Let me see how much. <laughs> I'm opening it because I want to show you how much no frosting is there. Yeah. Okay, there's like a... It's not bad. The cookie, the biscuit itself is a little... Could use a little more sugar. But I think these are probably Watch intended about... to be eaten with a cup of tea. They'd probably be a lot better with a cup of tea. I am sorely disappointed. Oh no, Mom! What if you had a glass of milk? Mmm. Wouldn't help. Well, I'll eat them. They're, not... very, they're very wheaty. Yeah, yeah. I think they're good. That's what I meant by that. Like, there wasn't a lot of sweetness to it. No, well, you haven't even gotten to the jelly heart yet. That's the, or the jammy heart yet. That's where all of the flavor is. There isn't a lot of jam in them, you guys. Mm -mm. Well, they're made in, in Wales. <laughs> Maybe it's ambergris flavor. <laughs> oh jeez. I think they're good, y'all. I would definitely, I would buy them again and eat them again. But I probably would not. But they're just like those ones we get at uh, Walgreens, but they no, don't they, have. No, yeah, that's the thing. They don't have the cream in the middle. If you covered them with chocolate, they needed something. In my, in my opinion, they needed something to give it a little extra kick of sweetness. 
They were very. I wonder if there's any like Jamie Dodger hacks out there. Like you know how people do. Oh, the like Tim Tam slams. slams. Yeah. You, you put the Tim Tam in a cup of coffee or cocoa. If I have any friends from the UK who are well or more versed in the Jamie Dodger lifestyle than I am, please let me know how you guys eat them. You know, do you eat them with tea? Do you eat them? You know, with something specific. Let you me know. Up in the microwave for ten seconds. Yeah. Uh, let me. Tell me tell let me, me know. Anything. We'll we'll try. We'll or try I bet it. You, you can melt a marshmallow between two of them and make a little. Ooh, that might be tasty. We're we're just inventing stuff now. So I think per for me personally, out of all of the things we just tried, I think we should try the wagon wheels. No, they're well. We'll do that. We'll off do camera. that off camera. Um, I think for me, it was the prawn cocktail twirls. I thought those were great. Do me a favor. Yeah. One more thing. Okay. One, one more, more thing. One more thing. The haggis. Okay. Oh, try the haggis chips. All right. Okay. I think it's that's a good call. I mean, after the disappointment of the jammy dog. What else? How, how are you disappointed by that? I'm it's saying. Perfectly lovely. Okay, so we've got. Perfectly blah. <laughs> yeah, they're just kind of blah. Blah. We have oh, a oh, packet, no. a packet of haggis and cracked it black looks like pepper like crisps. Chips in there. Yeah, it's, there's not a lot of air in it, which is interesting. You know what? I want you to read the ingredients. Contents. Is there any real hair <coughs> or just... Ingredients. Potatoes, high oleic sunflower oil, haggis and cracked black pepper seasoning. I guess they just leave haggis out Rust. Of drop. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans, so there's no actual meat product in this. So there's no gut linings or... How no bad does it smell? Or How sheep. bad does it smell? Real sheep bad. Innards. Oh, come on. After what we just had? Yeah, Ma, this, this smell is... Smell the bag! I've had tinned haggis before. Why would you do such a thing? We Speaking celebrated a uh, Robert Burns Day once. <laughs> it's a long story. I like it. Oh, peppery. But not bad. Honestly, yeah. Wow, the pepper it smells starter. like camping. I feel like these have a much stronger flavor than anything else we've tasted today. Like they're taste, they're actually they're camping. tasty. There's a there's a spiciness to it, like a, a the the heat of the black pepper. Like I know it sounds so weird, like the heat, but there's a definite heat coming from the black pepper. They're tasty. I like them. Rather than a subtle flavor, this has a real flavor. Yeah, this is flavorful. It's very. <gasps> They're very different from the cheddar and onion crisps because to me, the cheddar and onion crisps were just kind of flat. Like there wasn't any real punch to them. Like, well, like, okay, if you have like a, a barbecue potato chip or a sour cream and onion potato chip, that flavor is strong. Don't try like, you eating can, that with your mouth open. It gets worse. Like you can, you can taste that there is a flavoring to the potato chip as opposed to the, the, these guys, the mature cheddar and onion, they just kind of... It was really like subtle. Subtle. It, it it tasted like a potato chip, like La Croix tastes like the flavor it's supposed to be, in that it doesn't. Anyway, so what do you think of the stuff that we tasted today, Ma? What was your favorite? Not the jammy dodgers. Do you like the uh, coconut and raspberry? Oh yeah. The yeah. coconut ice? Uh, yeah, that was. But you know, I don't think you could eat more than one of them. At a time. That's like a that's a, a, a space it out kind of snack. Um, thank you, Universal Yums. This was not a sponsored video, but I love this subscription. If you guys are interested in trying it for yourself, I will have a link down there. You can check it out. I don't get a referral bonus for sending you guys there. I just really love this service. I think we've had we've been getting the super yum box for five months now, and everyone we've gotten has been really cool and interesting. Mm -hmm. A lot of cool treats from Very all over the place. Treats. Oh yeah, Quantum we've gotten unique treats. ones, uh, ones that are exclusive to the box. So definitely check them out if you're interested in trying international snacks. Question of the day: What have you always wanted to try because you saw somebody eat it in a TV show? Oh yeah, because that was Mom with the Jamie Dodgers, with Doctor Who, and it broke her heart. Uh, I think for me. Probably it was Turkish Delight, you know, because they they build that up to be like the super huge thing in like the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and I've had it before. It's all right. It's I. The, I wouldn't the, go with a white witch about it, but okay. Yeah, 
Okay, what about you? You got any in mind? Oh, uh, I watched Porky Pig throw fish to a seal once, and he was eating mackerel, and I thought it sounded delicious, and then I realized it was a fish. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you would like to see more <laughs> Universal Yums videos, I've got them, and I will link last month's at the end of this video. If you liked what you saw and would like to stick around to see more from me, behind the scenes Karen, mom makes an appearance sometimes, hit that little subscribe button, click the little bell if you want to stay in the know, the bell's the way to go. Thank you guys so very much for watching, thank you mom, thank you Karen, and we'll see you in the next video. Later!